second Peter was written by who? Peter. The addendum is that many people believe Mark just wrote as Peter talked. So as Peter was talking, Mark was his, uh, his scribe. Uh, Saul was a bad man. Amen, somebody. And so he got converted in Acts. Uh, 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 he got converted in Acts chapter 9. All right. Now, I want you to go to your strong concordia and tell me the first time you see Paul. All right. There's a certain point that had to be. One of them is that they couldn't have any deformity. So was Paul a little person? I don't think so because he had to be of a certain height in the Sanhedrin Council. Also, he had to be married. That's why they said Paul used to be married, but by the time he wrote the gospel, either his wife left him or she died. Rome was in charge of Israel at that particular time. Am I right, somebody? They were in charge of Israel at that particular time. But even though Rome was in charge, uh, the Jewish had their own council or their own government called the Sanhedrin. The Mosaic, what? Law. All right? So that's why, as you said, uh, Ms. B, they were connected to, Mo uh, uh, to Moses because they were only trying to keep the law. They were only trying to, with all the changes that were happening uh, in the culture at that time, they were trying to keep that maintained or keep the tradition of, 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 of what Moses had said. So that's why, just to be correctly, yeah, they were connected to Moses. The Pharisees thought it good because they were trying to get people to stay in their Jewish custom. And why is that important? Because without them, Jesus would not have been here, meaning there would have been no Jewish religion. So they kept it. Because you gotta remember,